Hey folks, Slayer Strider here, and welcome to a brand new series in my new mod pack, Futures Edge, on the Aim to Game server. I'm here with Dornal. Hey, hey, hey. Lord Raccoon. Hey, how's it going, guys? Esk. Hola, amigos. And Funshine X. Hey, everybody, Funshine X here. I'm just gonna use that one also. Yeah, I get it. All right, all right, all right, all right, we're good. We're good. All right, so uh, we're here on the Aim to Game server, uh, playing my new mod pack, Future's Edge. I just updated it a little bit. We got some more quests. Uh, we've got most of what the recipes I think I'm gonna have done. I don't know. You guys, have, we're gonna we're, if we find something, we'll fix it and then we'll update the pack. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, so first thing off, quests. It's the Tilde key. Is that how you guys say it? Is that how you oh. say it? Tilde? Tilda? Tilda. Tilda. Nice. It's hey, look again. Tilde. Oh. <laughs> Story. It's the button beside the one button. Open quest thing. I'm going to start a party because... Technically, that's the grave key. Yeah, Tilda's shift grave. grave. Key. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tilda's shift <laughs> grave. Yeah, no, you are correct, sir. All right. So you're going to start the party. Well, I'm going to start a party. Yeah, like gonna, parties. Are we all gonna, party. Bring the music. Well, I don't know if we all want to be in the same party because uh, you know, the, then you, people will be completing your quest while you're offline and you won't get a chance to record it. So ah, uh, okay, right, yeah. So I'm, me I'm and Dornal are gonna be in a party now. If any, if you guys want to party with each other, I mean, you're welcome to join my party. Let's see. I'm gonna invite. I can invite Dornal like that. This is cool. What what mod is that one? This is the better questing mod. By uh, the the fun guy, what is it? That fun guy, the guy who was fun. Yeah, I can't think of. It. I can't. I'm probably not gonna remember mod mod creator names every time. But uh, funway fun guy, way. funway guy, the same guy that <laughs> made the. I'm, I'm really hoping that'll update Environmind because that's what this pack's still missing. You know, I mean, is this supposed to be post Finum two? There's no, there's no gravity. I am. It's not because I didn't want to have it. It's because there's not a mod that really does it yet for me. Uh, uh, and if there is, maybe you guys can post it, and I'll add it to the pack in the next update. Because <laughs> we need to torture our players more with gravity. <laughs> Although What's I don't know complete? how this, uh, I don't know how this uh, structure will hold up if we add gravity. We'll have to check it. Out. That'll be fun. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the work of Unplugged GT. Uh, on minecraftschematics.com. I think there's a dash in between Minecraft and schematics. But anyway, we did alter it though. This ha it was all vanilla. Uh, we added a modded elevator to it. So this is the uh, RF Tools elevator. Uh, there's a button to call the elevator. Basically, the elevator is the lapis block there. So if the lapis block was not down here, we could call it by hitting that button. We get in into the elevator. We hit the up button. You see, it takes us up very rapidly and fairly smooth. Fairly smooth. So here we are. We're up on the restaurant level. So, uh, and from the restaurant level, we can actually go up further. We can go up. Um, we could take the elevator the rest of the way up. We could also go up the stairs. We could have got to the elevator by going up the stairs, but. At the restaurant level, you can actually see some landscape when you come out here on the edge. You don't want to be careful. You don't want to fall off that edge. <laughs> Pretty sure you wouldn't survive the fall. Well, you've survived the fall. I don't think you'd survive the stop. Oh, yeah, we got a nice little restaurant here, and um, yeah, I'm good. A couple NPCs. How did 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 we get a warrior guy? Okay. <laughs> uh, and we're going to go the rest of the way up, too. So uh, on this level, again, we have, a, we have a call button. This is the observatory deck, apparently. Uh, and then we have an up and down button. So this would take me down. This is going to take me up. Because of the windows in the elevator shaft, you kind of get kind of see as you're coming. Up. But like once you're up here, I mean, you can see I can't see nothing. In fact, I think I, I think 
Yeah, well, that's why we we'll, we'll also why we have the double fence up here. You don't you want to fall off from up here. You really don't want to fall off from up here. And then uh, yeah, right down here there's a little little windowed observe observation area. But you can't see nothing because it's, it's just so far, you know. So back down. Nice thing about the elevator is you can ride it down just as fast as you ride it up. And it and it speeds up, slows down. So go all the way down. There we go. So uh, yeah. I should mention that this structure was uh, created in creative by uh, Dornell and Funshine earlier before we, you know, uh, f specifically for the server, I wanted a safe place to spawn in for people because we should be having other people join on. Some people that may or may not be streaming or making YouTube videos. So we're going to have some other people playing on the server. So there should be lots of interaction to be done and, and collabs to be had. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to see yeah, people sure. from... I'm sure we're going to see people from everybody's, you know, pool of people they like to play with. Yeah. So, um, um yeah, me and Darnell are, are now teamed up for our quest, guys. I don't know if you guys are going to team up or whatever. Um, strike out. We'll, uh, I will warn y'all. Uh, you're going to get to a point where you're going to get a thing called a crystal ball. That's got, that's from the mod Minecraft Comes Alive. Uh, if you guys have ever played with it before, you might know a little bit about it. That lets okay. the villagers. That makes the villagers a lot more interesting, and you get married. You can have children, uh, but that crystal ball. Oh, somebody grab me! Hey, oh again. no! Again. <laughs> you get carried away. You get carried Let away. me I go. See, I see S <laughs> going away on the map. Oh no! No! Oh, no! no. 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 Let me go, you devil! He got, he got picked up by a bird, I think. I don't see him though. I don't see no, him. I, just I, see that. I see death number two. <laughs> oh no! I, I just see his name <laughs> flying away. Achievement. Oh, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm safe. Just land in the water? No, no, no. I landed on top of the tower. Luckily. Oh, nice. Oh nice. man. <laughs> oh, I got a, <laughs> I got a bone and some feathers from that. <laughs> so yeah, this is our nice spawn area, and we're gonna go away in different directions and whatever and find areas. Oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to do it that. It just broke everything. Skip, put the rose back. Um, go find areas. What I was saying about crystal balls is a uh, if you decide to live in a village, it it does spawn a very large area and do, it is very destructive to the landscape. If you, if you choose to live it with a family or by yourself, I think it's just a smaller house. It's not nearly as destructive, but you shouldn't do it near spawn or near any other player. Somebody I else, yeah. I think it kind of goes without saying. Um, there is an option to not have that turned on on your server in the configs, but I figure we're we're all we're all smart about the way we play, so we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't end up griefing anybody on accident. Well, Nobody's that wasn't so smart so far, purpose. yeah, right? Provoking those uh, flying thing that wasn't so smart so far. <laughs> no, <it wasn't. laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one of them over there. I see it. It's, those are I think they're called a rock. It's a big gi yeah. giant bird. It is, rock. yeah. They, they pick you uh, up. Golden rock. God. Yeah, they'll pick you up, and then pick, and then they'll try to drop you from a high height. And they get creepers and throw in your head. Yeah, they will pick up creepers and drop them on your head. So you gotta kind of watch out for them guys. They're tricky. So yeah, like I mobs, big uh, feature of the pack. Uh, I guess question. I guess this would be the time you guys need to ask me questions if if, if you don't already know what's up. Because <laughs> uh, you know, I put the pack together. I kind of know what's up. So this, we have any? We have uh, RF tools. So we can go to other dimensions. Yes, right? RF tools. Yes. dimensions and exploration. Uh, exploration is kind of another one of the key, you know, things of it. There's there's a uh, recurrent complex. One of my favorite mods that was also in Post Venom uh, that was responsible for you know let me do all the really cool things with the villages and the points of interest in Post Venom. Did you yeah. get a chance to play Post Finum after I did all that updates, Funshine? I know you previewed it early beta. <laughs> yeah, same as I don't me, play. I, think. I didn't play the latest. No. Yeah, okay, so you're you're not too familiar with what I did with the recurrent complex, but uh, I haven't added any structures to it. It's all default currently, but we uh, may add some structures later to to that. But that's that's gonna have that's gonna put ruins and all kinds of crazy fun things to find in the world. 
that you may even like you might find something that you, you want want to adopt as a base or something like that uh rogue dungeons of course is in oh that's a nice one yeah they're not overly difficult right now because i don't have like a night mob spawning in them because i don't know how to get it to to do that but when i do look out <laughs> Look out! Okay, so now basically we're all just waiting for the sun to come up. Yeah, and <laughs> the quest—I don't think you put a blood magic quest line in yet, did you? No, I'm not at a blood line, blood magic quest because the mod has changed so much. I need a chance to uh, really get through it myself before I can write a quest line for it. Uh... And storage and gear—they're not active yet, or they're not there. The, you, the, you have to complete a quest to unlock. Oh, so uh, okay. The, once. They're all locked, basically. All the quests in it are locked right now because you haven't completed any of the quests. So. so I completed ch the story, chapter one. It's a completed, but the second one is not active. Yeah, that means yeah. there's a there's a quest someplace else. I have a Place problem with chapter home. one, okay. though. Yeah. It says, we awaken naked in the wilderness, so only me and Raccoon can play. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're, we've got quests on. They're the only animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the yeah, change your yeah. skin, ask. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, you're being brave, ain't you? I mean, we we. Oh, we somebody's gonna die. We can get some wood. I mean, we can come outside. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. I did did light the spawn up area up very well, so that we wouldn't have an issue with mobs at it. Oh, why you don't hit that bee thing over there? <laughs> yeah, I I wouldn't go near that. That will stay. <laughs> They're well, asleep at night. That's, they one don't thing bite I, you. that's one thing I liked. Uh, there we go. Getting wood. And I got some fresh, Yeah, but fresh there's no puppies. bee at night, Yay. so you're not going to get Oh, that's bitten. true. That's true. They they don't they don't come out at night, so you won't get bitten. Unless if you hit them. Well, yeah, if you break the hive, yeah. Oh man, that's terrible. But I would eat you alive. That. I wouldn't want to do that unless I had the uh, uh Oh, so when you break a forestry beehive, a bee will come out? It, well, you'll get stung basically if you don't oh. have if you don't have a smoker now. That's a new feature in forestry. So there's been some updates to forestry the way the ways the bees work, and it's really actually I like it because now if you go near a beehive, a wild beehive in the daytime when they're active, they'll how start come the skelly is not attacking you? It is. It just missed. Me. Ah, uh, oh, run. Um, it's like a whole new game. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. And, I got uh, an orange autumn s sapling. Oh, nice. there's no tinkers. Nope, no tinkers. No tinkers. No tinkers. Uh, there, there's some really cool other tools, though, you can get to eventually. Uh, dark steel is really what you want for the for, for your mid to early game. Most of, oh, I'm going to have a destruction catalyst by tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. You would be playing some hardcore hours if you had a destruction <laughs> catalyst by tomorrow. <laughs> there is something on the water. Oh, forestry. Yes. Psy. Oh, Psy is awesome. Psy, yeah. Psy is in. Um, you know, it's a little more late game because of the recipe modifications. Uh, immersive engineering, uh, Ender IO. Let's see, what haven't I mentioned yet so far, Dornell? That's that's big in here. Uh, we already mentioned RF tools. We mentioned blood magic. Mentioned <laughs> blood magic. Blood magic is kind of by itself right now until I can figure out how to integrate it with everything else. Psy in here. I've never played with Psy. Psy, yes. Um, yeah. it is really two level cool. or mid level. Uh, probably more like mid level, late mid level. Uh, Cause you gotta you gotta make uh, quite a few things, gold and diamonds and stuff like that. Um, all right, let's look at uh, the f completing some of these quests real quick. So I got my wood. I need to make a crafting table. I need to make pickaxe. You know, just standard Minecraft stuff. Sun's coming up too. Yeah, sun's coming up, so yep. we'll be able to start going exploring pretty soon. Fresh star completed. So let's yeah. see here. Quest. The only thing I don't like about that uh, quest that looks great, but he hides everything back behind. Yeah, I mean you can scale it down with your GUI scale, I think. But yeah, oh. it does. It does. It does 
Yeah, when you open the quest thing, it takes up the whole screen. Oh, I mean, at least nice. it does in my resolution. Well, it doesn't remember yeah, it where does. you are. Uh, so now I get to claim this. Um, man, I, I, I really hate kind of showing what my, ch my choices are going to be because everybody's going to know what the... Uh, <laughs> What the best choice is according to the well, to the author? I'm, so I'm already making my choices, so I won't be yeah, able I'm, to. I'm not gonna announce them. I'm just. I mean, the viewers will see what I chose. Is the string important? I don't know. And then you'll see why I chose what I I chose because now I got that. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we have select Portable. one of those quest lines, right? Portable crafting table, so now I don't need to don't need to set it down. I can just carry around with me. I got my portable crafting table, just like I was in Terra Firma Craft. <laughs> From where? From where? Oh, I, I don't that's see that what choice. the string was for. <laughs> what's What's the lowest level like anything. backpack? I see anything. Uh, forestry what? packs. Forestry, yeah, Good the backpack. forestry packs, yeah. We, we, the only backpacks are forestry packs, in fact. Um, I haven't added a backpack mod because I like, if I'm gonna do one, I wanna do that one that, that puts the, the model and like has the tank and is up uh -huh. there. And that does, that's not come out yet for this, uh, version of Minecraft. There are a couple mods that, that haven't come out yet that I still mm. wanna add, so. There are, there are some plans to add a few things in the future. So since the sun's up, I'm gonna go explore. Yep, let's go. Hey. Off. Oh man, that skelly is protecting himself from the uh... yeah. Yeah, that'd be that. <laughs> um, yeah. Goodbye. I'll never see you again. No, I I know. I, um, I uh, a kind of a fair warning. I've, we've played this uh, seed many times now. This is the same oh, that's seed. not fair. This is the same, <laughs> it's the same. You seed know what? All the diamonds, man. Yeah. No, well, I shoot. I wish. I hey, infernal joy. Hey. Hey. I, I just need some stone here. That's what I need. I don't know, but I gotta think I'm gonna follow someone. <laughs> Alright. Alright, where are you guys going? Huh, I'm following Ask. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> where is the. Uh, well, okay. Let's, oh, let's, let's go, go this way. find a place. Yeah, go to the north let's... because we, we, we own the north, right? Yes, we own. South side? Yeah. Okay. I think Inferno is having trouble logging in. Looks like. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I Let's go uh, up the mountain. Oh. Okay, so that complete another quest, Ooh, I believe. What is that? Wait, I can I can Did somebody it. already build a house over there? No, you you're you're, <laughs> you're looking at you're probably seeing a ruin of some kind. Okay. okay Did so. you finish that one to get the sword? Yes, yeah. I did, just now. Okay. Oh, very, there very, goes. very good one. Though. Oh man, these cows are tough. Complete there. Yeah, they... Give me a nice uh, smite three stone sword. I'm good against all the nasty oh, undead things I, that you're probably going to encounter I'm... if you get caught out at night. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You don't want to get caught out at night, especially not early, and especially not in this pack because it's no. not. It's not just zombies and things that start spawning. And it's like. Dinosaurs and demons and elementals, <laughs> giant birds. Now I say we go down in this thing and like get the resources out of the level one. I think no torches. Oh, we not, we I have got, a nice got, forest over here. Torches. Look, see yeah. torches. Oh, Indeed. okay. I mean, and then we're gonna get materials on level one that we should be able to make torches out of. I mean, it's not like we, it's not like we can travel along ground outside at night. That's 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 even more crazy than going down in here. Let me let me tell you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you need to get off the surface. I mean, even if it is into a rogue dungeon. Yay, Invernal's in. Is he in? Oh, Manish? he is in. He, 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 Yay, he nice. Out oh, finally. 
That's good. Yay. Okay. Hey, look, we got I'm doing got mine some, here. Some what, carrots and potato crops. Ah, that is sweet. We can like grow these. If, if we find some skeletons, we can grow these like right here. And we have food. <laughs> I have to apologize to this engineer. I just tore his whole house down. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Cake, cake, free treated wood. I gotta take it. Cake.